Hey, welcome back to Chronic and Coffee, long overdue. This is Frankus Grimm. My uh, my next guest, blast from the past, we got the homie Real Talk, the Metaphor Messiah. What's up, dude? How you doing? Yo, yo, what's up, Grimm? How's it going, man? Yo, everything's good, man. How have you been? Shit. Oh, man. Um, it's been awesome, man. Everything's, uh, man, been uh, real copious, man, real cool. <laughs> right on. So it's been, it's been kind of a while since we talked, and... Uh, you know, I've been kind of keeping track of your progress here since we're on some of the same pages and stuff and everything like that. Seen a couple of your videos drop, and I guess you're working on a, like a new concept album or something along that lines. Why don't you tell us what your uh, new album project is called and where you're going with that? Oh, okay. So basically, we got the uh, we got the, uh, the Black Mozart album coming out soon. Um, and if you guys want to look, you can go on SoundCloud.com uh, and type in Real Talk Metaphor Messiah, and you can hear the, the single. Black Mozart, which we've been getting a lot of love for, like a lot of people are loving it. Um, so I decided to turn that into the album. And um, I mean, we've got all kinds of people on there from Drugs Beats, who just did a beat with Dr. Dre. Um, he, he threw me a beat. Uh, Ray Legend, of course, man, this dude is like one of Detroit's biggest producers out there. Uh, Jesus, we got a bunch, we got a bunch of different producers. A lot of people messing with us now, man. So we got a really good album. It won't be out to the end of this year, but. I got a, a nice video on the way called One Verse. And if you haven't heard that song, you can go um, on my website, which is uh, realtalkthetruth.com. Check out the song One Verse. And we got the shooting for the video coming out. It's going to be in Las Vegas um, in uh, about a week. So we just been moving and shaking, man. Yeah, you're pretty active, man. I've seen uh, you post quite a bit of a music, uh, <clears throat> quite a bit of your music in um, like nationwide hip hop. And that's one of the groups that we're both in. You just constantly working, or what's up, man? Like, you're always on the grind, aren't you? Uh, all, all day long, man. I mean, a lot of people don't I realize that uh, that's the easy part is making the music, man. <laughs> that's the easy part. You know what I mean? But uh, what's going to separate you from uh, the other talented musicians is your work ethic and your grind, you know? So that's where you're always grinding, man. Always. Is that why a lot of your pictures you're carrying around that belt, man? I see that, I see that medal that you carry around, man, that championship <laughs> belt. I know you're not in the WWE, but you're some, you're some kind of champ, huh? Yeah, that's my baby. I'm, I'm, I'm the hip-hop champion, man. Yeah. Nobody works harder than I do. There you go. Um, so, and I got, I got a shout out to my boy Cold Flow, too, man. He, uh, he's the one that really got me going with the title belt, man. He said, man, keep, you know, keep doing that, man. I like that. And I was like, yo, I like, I like it, too. I just ran with it. You know? It's cool, man. It's kind of a... Uh... I mean, I think we're right around the same same age, same kind of frame. Maybe born yeah. in the 80s or the 90s, so a lot of us grew up on that wrestling thing. So there's nothing bigger, man. You can't carry around a bigger oh, man, trophy than that belt. nothing bigger at the time, man. I remember when I was a kid, and I used to sit down. I was like, man, I want a belt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, that's all I wanted. So now that I got, a little, I got older, got a little money from this music, shit, I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. Hell yeah. It's a good look, man. It's a good look. So, um... Uh, just so everybody knows, real talk, metaphor, Messiah, man. He's a homie. Came out of Chicago. He's up in Las Vegas right now, doing things. I guess you're starting to expand. You were saying, reaching out to the oh, West man. Coast. What's going on over there? Oh yeah, so we um went to the West Coast. My like man is showing us so much love. We actually got um got a huge meeting coming up on September third. I'm not supposed to tell too many people about this, but oh, it's you, Graham. So I can tell you this, man. Um, got a meeting with uh, Asylum Entertainment, multi-million dollar uh, music company. Yeah, that's probably something you don't want to talk about too much. But uh, that yeah, sounds I mean, like somebody's got you, uh, I mean, they got you on the radar. They're looking at you and shit, right? Exactly, man. And that's, uh, that's a blessing, man, to start, man. So, you know, I can't say too much about it, but I just um, just want the people out there to know that we, hard work pays off, man. Oh, yeah. Hard work pays off. And you're doing a lot of work, man. You're doing a lot of shows over there in Vegas, and I see a lot of the stuff that you put out there, and I've... Caught a couple of your videos. We're going to have a couple playing little snippets of it in the background here over this video. So, everybody check awesome. out. We've got the YouTube, man. He's got the, he's got the, uh, the page. We'll, we'll throw up all the links, everything. Uh, if I miss anything, you'll just have to let me know in the comments below, whatever it may be. Tell me I fucked up somewhere or something. Uh, 
So that Black Mozart, that's going to be an album you're, you're thinking about December or towards the end of the year? Uh, when should we... Yeah, so actually, we got it coming out. Um, we've been going back and forth with this, so me and my whole team, the Legacy. And we, I think we're going to come out with the first of next year. I mean, the first day of uh, 2016. I mean, I think that's when we want to hit them with it. It's something new. It's creative. Um, and it's real. You know, it's, um, it's not watered down. It's, uh, it's as real as it can get, man. Uh, I think hip hop is actually starting to make a, a big comeback for real. You know, um, maybe not so far as mainstream, but fuck the mainstream. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck them anyways. Yeah, fuck the mainstream. We don't want that <laughs> that pop watered down bullshit. The plastic rap. We're not down with that shit. We're about yeah. real grindy ass, grimy ass hip hop. Even just happy. It doesn't matter what kind, as long as it's real, man. As long as it's real. Exactly. Exactly, Grim. And that's why I mess with you, Grim, because uh, I can tell you one of those type of dudes, man. Oh man, I love it. I love the, I love the music, man. If I'm not doing it, I'm listening to it. I'm I'm promoting it and I'm sharing it, whatever it may take. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep the real shit going. Underground is where it's at, dude. Anything that's on the mainstream, come on. Those people are making dollars and they might have talent, but that's not where you're gonna hear the good stuff at. We all know that shit. Yeah, everybody knows that now, man. Yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate because we don't have anybody to look. Oh, look, this dude's doing it and he deserves it. Like a lot of times, we're looking at people. Who were like, what the fuck, you know? Like, I don't want to name names because I don't want to blast people, because it, it might sound like a hater thing, you know? They're rich and whatever, but uh, dude, they sound like shit, yo, and they're not, not really talking about a whole lot that anybody cares to see. I, I don't know. I don't. That's just my opinion. I don't really. No, I, you know, I, I, I tend to, I tend to agree with you, man. I, you know, my thing is, is that you know, if you everybody has an opinion, and it just so happens that if you uh, if your opinion goes away from what they other th- another person thinks, that you become a hater. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if a dude, if I think a dude is, is, is trash, then I think he's trash. I'm not hating it. I mean, if you want to say it's hate, fine, but yeah, yeah. he's still trash. Yeah. You know? It's true, man. It is what it is, dude. Like, come on, we know good music. We know bad music. We know music that's exactly. that's being pushed by exactly. him, And, yeah, we can tell the difference. I really do think that. I think that the, the people are starting to wake up, though, Grim. I really do. I think, uh... A lot of this watered down music, a lot of this bullshit that they're trying to feed us, man. Um, I think some people are starting to get hip to it. Good. You know? You know, so uh, I think it's a really good thing. So. And I kind of, I actually, huh? Go ahead, go ahead. I actually like the direction in which uh, hip hop is, is, is going as far as uh, underground. And, and this is a little bit more people I noticed, such as uh, Joey Badass, and who I really like. Um, guys like that who are. Uh, Starting to touch mainstream, and I think that's because uh, people are starting to get sick of the uh, the watered down fake hip hop. You know, mm-hmm. so um, I'm, I'm hoping that's where it continues to go. I mean, it's got to be. It's kind of got to be a movement to retake the music. Like after so many years of the record execs, I'm guessing being in control and making the most money they can. You know, we gotta we gotta fight back a little bit and tell them that we don't appreciate that bullshit and like. Like, rap's hard to touch, man. You don't want to point cats out in, in the industry and be like, you know what, fuck you, you're fake as fuck, yeah. because that creates some bullshit that you really don't want to deal with, regardless if they're real or not. They still might be real enough to fuck with you, so we're not going to go there. But, you know what I'm saying, we all kind of we all kind of feel that. Like, the hip, hip-hop, man, it's been underground. It's It went back underground, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. It all kind of yeah. became plastic and, and watered down and shit, and... I think it's time for a revival, man. And people like you, that's why I roll with you, man, because you're doing some real shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not talking about the same shit that these cats talk about. And you got your own style, and, you know, you're pretty strong with it. And that's, you know, mad respect for you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Oh, shit, man. We appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? People who who appreciate hip-hop appreciate artists like you, man. Shit. That's awesome, man. So, um... Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, bro. Oh, real quick, man. I, I want to, um, I don't usually do this, but I want to promote one of my buddies real quick, man. Uh, my man, Ray Legend, who's a part who just became big, is a part of my team. He's been yeah. down for a long time, man. He's got a new mixtape coming out. It's called Hip Hop 102. And I'm talking about this is a young cat who's totally into hip hop, man. And is really good at what he does, man. So I really want to take this time to tell everybody, uh, next month, uh, I'm not sure on the date, but, um, Look for Ray Legend, and that's R A Y L E J three N D. Ray Legend, Hip Hop One Hundred Two. You can go on my page. You can go on a lot of pages. We'll be promoting everywhere. Really, really, really good album. I checked it out. Listen to it. You guys, seriously, it's worth. 
it's worth money. It really is, man. I would buy it. And I'm a I'm really critical on hip hop. But this this young cat is really good at what he does, man. Works with a lot of people from Detroit because that's where he's from, such as Black Milk, such as Drug Speed. I mean, this dude knows a lot of people, so just yeah. want to tell everybody when you get a chance, man, check that out, man. Hip hop one up two. Hey man, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to help cats get their shit out there, and I, I don't, I've seen some of the stuff that he's put out with you and with himself. So I'm I'm a fan. So hey man, anytime anybody wants to come up and plug themselves or plug their friends, man, let's get it out there. That's what the underground network's all about, man. That's what we're here for. Exactly. Shit. Exactly. I totally agree. All right, man. Well, um, you've got the Black Mozart album. I'll throw up all the links for the for the. Say you got the SoundCloud up. You got. You got your new webpage up. I'll throw the links up for that. Some of the video in the background that'll be run this during this interview will be uh, taken from from your website. I was kind of messing with that yesterday. Uh, some, oh, okay. Awesome. Something visually yeah. I could I could put together and shit for you. So uh, if there's anything I missed, you know what I'm saying, let me know. You got the Facebook. You got the SoundCloud. You're still on Reverb. Yeah, we still got the Reverb, man. It's uh, Reverb Nation. Uh, we'll talk seven four. We'll talk the truth. You can go check that. I'm still there, man. I'm, yeah, yeah, you I'm number one, man. Like I said, let me uh, tell a couple people real quick to show some love to people that help me work on my album, man. Uh, Shit, do it. Jesus, man, it's my homeboy. Like I said, Ray Legend, Cold Flow, Dead on Day Production. One of my favorite. Um, I go on YouTube a lot. I check out a lot of people. I'm a big fan of uh, other genres of things. And um, Dave is a, a wrestling slash sports talk show host. Shows me mad love all the time, so I want to show that love back, man. Nice. You guys get a chance. You guys like wrestling and sports talk, definitely check him out. It's Dead on Day Production. And um, just you know, everybody who's ever showed me love, period, on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere, I want to thank you guys so much, man, because I really appreciate everything that you guys have said and done and shared. You know what I mean? I'm just going to continue to do this, man. So thank you to everybody, you know? Well, shit, man. Thank you for taking the time to sit down and, and, and talk with me once again. I know... The same, like, a big radio station or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, a few people would see this, but I appreciate your time. I appreciate your art. I appreciate your craft, your craft man. So, uh, maybe you could send me some, some of those links or you're shouting out in type so I can put it up for the homies and everybody else up on the video. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely give it to you, bro. That'd be uh, cool. Just, just, yeah, thank you, too, man, because, like I said, man, I mean, us artists wouldn't do anything without the people who show up, you know? And you're one of those people, so I really appreciate everything you're doing, too, man. Hey man, well thank you, and like I said, man, it's it's my fucking pleasure. Anytime you got a, you got something that you want to throw out there, you got somebody else you want to hook up, fucking, yo, that's what I'm here for, man. So thank you, sir. Uh, it's a real talk, metaphor Messiah dropping that Black Mozart album in the, in the future, but I know you got the single out. We're gonna throw that down over the video as well. Uh, everybody could check that out. It's off the SoundCloud and stuff, kind of give you a taste of what's coming. So, and you got some things working on the West Coast. I mean, you're always working, man. I see you. With that championship belt, people's yeah. championship. I know you're busy. <laughs> yeah, we're working, man. So everybody stay tuned, man. Fuck yeah, we, we will, man. Much love for coming through once again, man. I'm sure we'll be talking in the future. Uh, last chance to give a shout-out to anybody that we might have missed. Uh, I think I got out just about everybody, man. Shout-out to, like I said, everybody who's ever showed me love, man. I love y'all back, man. So let's just keep doing the thing, man. And like I said, um, work hard. You work hard, you get where you need to be at. Remember that. Oh yeah, and you're a prime example, man. You're grinding all the time, and uh, you're you're getting there. So so it seems so. That's awesome, dude. Thanks again, bro, for for stopping by, and uh, we'll be checking this video out probably tomorrow sometime, brother. All right, bro. What's up? All right, yeah. Just send me those links and shit um, if you can via type, so I can get everybody covered in the post edit. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, man. Thanks again, brother. Thank you for taking the time out on a Sunday and shit, man. All right, brother, stay up. Take care. Cool, so that was Real Talk Metaphor Messiah, the homie from Vegas, calling up. Uh, take a time out on a Sunday afternoon, man. Shoot, I was all nappy and shit, dude. I didn't think he was... I didn't. It's not that I didn't think he was going to call, but I was all taking a nap and laid out and everything, so... Feeling a little groggy, jumped up, threw, threw the shit together. Hopefully it sounds all right. Uh, much respect to you, dude. And uh, we'll have that video up, this video that you're watching now, up. Monday, which will be when you're watching it, which will not matter what I'm saying now, right? Anyways, anybody watching, anybody who wants to get part, take part, promote their stuff, 
uh, hit me up, man. Chronic and Coffee, that's what we're here for. Uh, throw your projects out there. I'm not going to charge you. Just all I ask is your time. You know what I'm saying? Sit down with me 15 minutes. Let's have some questions. have some conversation. Let's make some fans. Let's make some movements, man. Appreciate it. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you, uh, Metaphor Messiah. Real talk for coming through, man. Much respect. You guys have a good day. And until next time, this is Frank Scrim with Chronic and Coffee. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> where the fuck's my mouse at? I don't even know where I put that shit. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk to better form of society. Jesus on the beat. Legacy for life, you dig? They gon' like this. Huh? Hey, yo, Jesus, tell them something. Sit back, yeah. I can take you to the blunts and the zigzags yeah. I can show you where the hills have eyes at I can bring you to the ring like ride back Let me slow it down for your ears We came up, I'm feeling like cheers Used to hate working at Toaster Now we getting bread, that's Ponderosa This that shytown town Detroit, everybody destroyed You ain't got a chance if you fucking with them D-boys Talking music, we intimate I told her she could work her mouth like an instrument See, I'm half mixed with that Wu-Tang And the other half mixed with that Wu gang Take the game over, why not? We ain't got a chance of making this hot, okay? Y'all okay, been facing my fear you ain't got a chance to take in my heart Said we tired of playing your games Now you gotta deal with facing black Mozarts Okay, I'm contemplating getting high We ain't gonna dance, we surely won't die I'm gonna light it up with this beat I see Lord knows I could kill it on the M.I.